Some of you might remember a couple years ago, I built this litter house for Turbo and Bunmi. Even though I loved how it turned out, I always had this vision for something more. So I went back to the sketchbook, started sketching out ideas, and about a year later, I finally came up with something that I was excited about. There was lots of iterations along the way and mistakes, but finally we got here and this is the final product. So here is the bunny cubby, both Turbo and Jelly are inside. It's a little bit hard to see Jelly because it's kind of dark in there at the moment. It's basically an enclosed box with multiple entrances so they get some light, ventilation and they don't feel trapped. Now Turbo is going to sit on his little bed. And on the front here are some dowels which I've glued on, it's just purely decorative and then these little gold fairy lights. Obviously fairy lights can be a risk to bunnies who love to chew wires but I've had these up for ages and they don't really care for them so touch wood that they're not going to chew these. And on top this is what I'll call version one of our snuffle mat. So it's made from fleece, it's got a waterproof layer so if the bunnies pee on it it's not going to damage the wood. And then underneath there's a little handle here in the lid so you can just lift it up and the snuffle mat is still attached so you don't have to like take it off to lift the lid and yeah inside as i said that's their litter box we use pine pellets and hay as their bedding and then it's all in a litter liner bag to make the litter changes easier and then over here is a non-slip bath mat to give them traction as they hop in and out and there's some poops pretty sure they're all turbos and then under here you'll notice a little strip there so that is the lighting and i have these on in the evening so that the bunnies can see better and i leave them on if i go out at night so that they're not stuck in a pitch black apartment and they've still got some light underneath this bath mat there is a oh, sorry jelly i don't want to disturb you this wood grain here it's not actually wood this is just very cheap adhesive vinyl that I stuck on before screwing the floor in so it goes under there as well and that's just a cheap way to make the floor waterproof so yeah that's our bunny cubby turbo's over here now on his little bed these are our what do I call these ultimate bunny beds so it's a bumper bed with removable inserts and the cover is also waterproof so that's actually some of turbo's pee there but I don't have to worry about it because it is waterproof so when I do want to wash it I just take the inserts out throw the cover into the washing machine and I can switch out to a different cover and they're all reversible as well so this is like a plush fluffy side and then this one's got like a nice soft minky with some gold stars and then that's turbo so this is a size medium which fits the ikea doll bed almost perfectly by coincidence yeah turbo's quite round at the moment he's not fat he's actually a bit underweight if anything but he's got a very full cecum which makes him look quite plump um, but that's another story that we can get into in another video so i've been thinking to add like a hay rack or a hay bag on this side so that they've always got some clean dry hay to chew on and maybe even a little water bottle so that they can have easy access to water and they can drink and pee while they're in the litter box but I'll have a think about that later. I'm really proud of this project and how the design turned out. I love seeing my bunnies enjoying it and I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.